All right, guys, I'm back with another video. Today is Vlogmas day six. Y'all think I'm running out of ideas. But if you're curious about this new color you see on my lip, that is the new CoverGirl Melting Pot Metallics. Now, CoverGirl already had Melting Pot lipsticks out that were all these different bright colors. Now, this one is a new one. I don't know if y'all seen that Issa Rae commercial where she's wearing like that little gold color. This isn't the exact color, but it's very similar and it's called Banger. Um, I don't know, I'm kind of feeling the color, but since they came out with a new Metallics, I'm starting to notice that maybe Metallics is supposed to be the thing for the fall. So I kind of wanted to kind of see how they will, how it would look on my skin tone. Of course, Metallics gonna look different on everybody. I didn't really see too many reviews online with Metallics, uh, with the at least with the Cover Curl Metallics. They just came out last week, but this how it look. This probably would go really perfect with Trophy Rife. Like I could see somebody. I don't. I don't like wearing that stuff, so you won't see it on me. But <laughs> if you was wearing Trophy Rife with the little gold and gold, this will definitely top it off. But I decided to go ahead and compare it to my other metallics that's been coming out lately. So I'm going to show you guys how each one looks on me and tell you a little bit about each one. I kind of like this. All right, so the first metallic up is the gunmetal. Now this one is by Maybelline. It has your traditional lipstick compartment thingy um it has the shimmer and it actually goes on really soft it has that feel of like a lip gloss the color looks more like a dark gray um but in some instances it could look like black but i particularly kind of like this color but i think it's more of a dark you know, dark makeup type of look. Real smooth, real creamy, and you can kind of see the sparkles on it. The best part is it wipes off easy. Literally, one swoop and it was off if you wanted to, you know, instantly change lipstick colors. All right, now this one, Copper Spark. Now this one is my favorite one. It's more of a mono skin tone as you can see yes it's copper but it's not too strong and it's not too light i actually put this in a category with a lot of my nudes and you can kind of see how it edges up against my skin kind of has a nice gold tone to it but this one is particular really really liked it um same thing as the gunmetal real easy to take off Oh, y'all, let me tell you about a little pretty problematic. All right. It is a wand stick, very creamy, very liquidy, goes on smooth, smells great. I mean, it looks nice. It's that perfect burgundy color that we all love. And I notice I have like a lot of burgundy colors, but it goes on so soft and so smooth. A few seconds and it becomes like a matte. You can't really see the glitter as much as you could in the other Maybellines. But this Milani, the worst part is, it is hard to come off. You can wipe it, but you're going to still have pink tone. And it actually dries really weird in the middle. Yeah. All right, now, this is the start of the show. This is Melting Pout. All right, so this is CoverGirl's new Melting Pout Metallic. It is, um, you can see, it almost looks just like my copper one. It has the felt tip, very soft, gel-like. Um, as you can see, this is another one that pretty much looks like a nice brown tone. It looks really, really close to my skin tone. That's why in particular I say it looks really good if you was to go on a darker skin tone. This would be the perfect color for you. But this one is very creamy. Like I just wanted to keep on rubbing my lips. So these are the last four. You got two Maybellines, one Milani, and then you got the new CoverGirl. 
So let me know which one you like. I love this one, of course. All right, guys. So that was my review on all the metallics that I have in my collection. Um, overall, um, I would have to say that the CoverGirl for now is um, my favorite as far as how it feels. It's very soft, very moist, and easily wipes off with one swoop. Um, I love the copper. The copper is really nice. It's actually very similar to the CoverGirl um, banger. The gun metal, not really my stizo, but I can make it work. And what comes in last place is Milani. Although I love the color, it's really nice. I've worn this a few times already. And when it start getting like you need to reapply, it gets really dark in the center and it's, it, it looks ugly to me. Um, it really does, uh, it is a real mate, so it does get really dry and cracks a little bit. The other ones, they're all soft and moist and really last throughout the day, almost like a lip gloss. So, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think about these colors. Have you tried them? And if you have any solution to making them better, do you mix them? Do you add some gloss on top? What do you do? Let me know in the comments and um, like, subscribe for me if you want to. Thanks. Deuces. Time me to bed.